Welcome to the Madlab and Simulink Pass Competitions Hub. Um, today I am here with Sebastian. Hi Sebastian, how are you? Doing well, how about you Jose? I'm doing very good and we're going to be talking about a Lego workshop that we've developed for mobile robotics. Uh, Sebastian and I both work in robotics, uh, creating content for the student competitions team here at MathWorks. So Sebastian, why don't you give us a brief introduction of what your role entails? Sure. So I mostly work on the university level competitions, and you might have seen me in our other video series, the, the MATLAB and Simulink Robotics Arena for, for those competitions. But a lot of the, the people that we work with take, for example, RoboCup, which has its RoboCup Junior category, or the World Robot Summit, which has also a, a junior competition. That means that really both of us get to work on the primary and secondary uh, school level competitions. Today, we're going to talk about something that that is very interesting to, to both of us then. Absolutely, and I mostly focus on VEX and BEST robotics competitions and anything other related to primary and secondary school competitions. The agenda for today is uh, we're gonna be talking about a mobile robotics training. This is a complimentary offer for any students. Uh, then we are gonna be talking about the Lego support package. This is what you're gonna use in order to program Lego robots with Simulink. Uh, we're gonna be diving in specifically to the content that's contained within the file exchange that is the Lego Mobile Robotics Workshop. Uh, then we're gonna go through a software demo to show you the type of files and the type of exercises that you will be performing during these workshops. And finally, we will be wrapping it up with some key takeaways. Very cool. Sebastian, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the Mobile Robotics Training is? Yeah, sure. So uh, all of you that are watching, if you're part of a student competition, then you will have access to this complimentary training that we offer called the Mobile Robotics Training. Um, that contains a couple of videos as well as files that you can download so you can follow along with the videos. Um, and then this training was released, as, as you see in the, the animation here, with a VEX robot. So what we do is um, we're gonna teach you the basics of mobile robotics, first with simulation, so you can, you can kind of test things out uh, in a way that doesn't require hardware, and then show you how to move uh, to actually getting all these algorithms that you're making onto uh, some of the hardware using our support packages. So there are five parts in this video, and you know they start with just being able to talk to the robot. So you know, can you move the wheels? Can you read the sensors? And from then on, you start doing some basic control, uh, things like uh, dead reckoning. So that's counting up your wheel spinning to see, you know, to check uh, whether you've traveled a certain distance or a certain angle. Then we go into some more uh, complex control strategies like uh, on and off control or PID control to do the same kind of tasks like you know tracking a certain distance or following a line. Uh, and then we start looking at more logic-based algorithms, things like detecting obstacles so that you can you know stop in front of things without crashing into them. And then finally, we kind of put everything together into this path navigation chapter where we try to perform a sequence of tasks so that you know, you're basically completing something that would be close to your competition. And that's what you're seeing in the animation here in the video, um, that you know, your robot starts at a certain point, it, it then tries to you know, move maybe a certain distance or a certain angle, follow the line, and then finally stop in front of an obstacle. Great, thank you very much for that intro, Sebastian. And if you guys wanna uh, get access to this training, you can find links to more information in the description for this video. Now we're gonna go into the simulating support for Lego. So uh, the Lego Mindstorm CV3 hardware is supported by Simulink, which means that we provide a block library for it. And if you're not familiar with Simulink yet, uh, Simulink works using blocks. It's a model-based environment in which you connect different blocks uh, with signal lines, and then you can generate code and upload it to your hardware, in this case being the LEGO Mindstorm CV3 brain. Um, the library contains sensors, actuators, controls. Uh, you can see them here in this snapshot of you know, motors, encoders, uh, the color sensor, the buttons, the display, everything you need to program this robot to perform any type of task. And it also includes uh, something else that's wireless debugging. Uh, that's a little bit different from other programming environments where you can put your code into the robot and then in real time um, track uh, what portions of code are being executed and it will highlight it in the model for you 
So this is really useful if you're trying to debug any sort of issues with your robot. Absolutely. So, you know, kind of showing you these two things, right? Um, we showed you that there's a training that's based off of the VEX robot, but that also we have blocks that support different types of hardware. Like we showed you here Lego. We can also do things like Arduino, Raspberry Pi. So the whole point is that all these robotics algorithms that you make in Simulink, you can have them talk to different platforms. So, we, you know, we thought that why limit that training to just VEX? Um, we can also kind of repurpose that and show you how to do the same activities with one of these Lego EV3s. Absolutely. And then if we go into the specifics about the workshop, uh, Sebastian, why don't you tell me a little bit about the files and how we're going to follow through the files that are present in the file exchange submission? Yeah, so this Lego Mobile Robotics Workshop is is an additional set of files that's available on our file exchange, and, and we'll have the link below. Um, so the whole point is that you know when you download that mobile robotics training we just spoke about, you then get this in addition, and it just acts as a as an, a different hardware platform for you. So from the mobile robotics workshop, you get access to the video lessons, uh, to the models and the exercises. Um, and now that now with the workshop, you you have alternative hardware models for Vex and for Lego. So you can kind of see how they're how they're different, but also how they reuse the same uh, kind of algorithms. One of the key things that we always like to show is the value of simulation. So we have quite a lot of tools to do that. And we do that in this case with the mobile robotics training toolbox, uh, which is just a way to, to basically recreate our actual mobile robot environment. So with the lines and the obstacles uh, fully in software and simulation. So the, the whole point is that you would use this toolbox to kind of design your algorithms, prototype it, debug it, and then once you think you're, you've got something that works, you then get to try it on the hardware. So with that said, uh, we can go straight into the software demonstration and uh, show you what these uh, files look like and what the models look like. And we'll give you a brief demonstration of what it looks like when you upload it to an actual Lego robot. So we're now in MATLAB and in order to get started with the workshop, um, you're going to be downloading this folder called Lego Mobile Robotics Workshop. So just open it in MATLAB and then find this file called startup workshop you can drag it to the command line or just double click it and you'll see that it will say welcome to the lego mobile robotics workshop and it will open up a readme file that will have some information on uh, what the folders in this particular uh, directory contain uh, we're going to start by opening up this lego workshop documentation pdf uh, sebastian why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to find in this pdf yeah, so I, I would start with this documentation because it, it tells you more than just the Simulink files, right? Um, some of the things it will tell you are just the system requirements. So what toolboxes do you need? What uh, hardware do you need? Especially like what sensors you would need on your on your Lego. Mm -hmm. And it also goes through well all the things that you need to install to get running with the workshop, as well as if you want to recreate the exact setup of all the files in the workshop, then we, we basically give you the instructions for how to build the robot, you know, which sensor to connect to which port um so so you know th this is where you really want to start um now i'm gonna actually bring up the the robot here basically you see that the ev3 has all these ports on here so if you're using a different configuration then you can later go into the models and basically change the blocks uh for instance if your ultrasonic sensor is elsewhere uh, compared to the models you can you, you can modify that yourself and then from there on, you know, once you've gone through this document, then you're ready to actually use the files that you just downloaded. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, one of the folders that we have in here, which is essentially one of the lessons in this workshop. Uh, we'll take a look at um, the path navigation, which is the final one, uh, so that you guys get an idea of what the, the final uh, conclusion of the workshop is and the type of models that you're going to be able to make after you go through. In here, you'll find uh, two folders called Exercise and Examples. And in the Examples folder, you will find all the simulating files uh, necessary to go through the lesson. So starting files, um, segment files in this case, which just means that are a portion of the logic that is contained within the main one. So we're going to open uh, one of these, this path navigation logic start, and we'll take a look at what's there. Awesome. And then, yeah, with a combination of also watching the videos, because the model names are going to be the same, 
and also looking at that readme in each of the folders uh, it should guide you through you know which order to open these files in so don't worry uh, we'll we're helping you out with that too mm -hmm. Sebastian so uh, I just opened it up and we get this um, figure here that says robot simulator can you tell yeah. me a little bit about this yeah, so this is part of that uh, mobile robotics uh, training toolbox. So this this is the, the toolbox that we're using to actually do our simulation tasks before we deploy to hardware. So that figure you see on the right, um, we basically took a photo of our robot setup. So you see there's a line there that we can follow as well as an obstacle or a couple obstacles on the right. Mm -hmm. And then it displays the map and then a, a little you know icon of the robot throughout the map. So as you start filling in all the you know code in this model, then you're able to basically talk to the simulator, test whether your algorithm does what it's supposed to, and then once you're happy with how that performs, then you can try to deploy it on the hardware. Perfect. And if we go back to the model here, we'll see that we have um, all of the necessary blocks. Is that correct? Right. So, so you basically, on the left side, you'd have all the blocks that you need to measure things. So you have your, your wheel encoders, your line sensor, and your ultrasonic then a blank space where you want to fill in the, the smarts of the of the algorithm. And then at the end, you have on, on the right side, basically the, the two motors of the robot, so the left and the right wheel, that feed into the simulator. Perfect, great. Um, so this is the sort of empty model. This is the one you would work yeah. on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, one that's been filled out. So yeah. this is the start. Uh, if we look at the solution, and if you follow along with the videos, then it would basically show you the same thing, how you start with that beginning model and how you fill this in. So, so it certainly gives you a platform to follow along. Great. And then we see here a state flow chart. So the video will walk you through uh, all the steps needed to get to this final state flow. So if we take a look at it, it's divided into segments. And you will see that these correspond to some file names too. Um, which means that each of these is developed separately and then put together in this final model. Um, what this robot is doing, if you pay careful attention, it's doing dead reckoning first. So it's basically moving to a specified point in the map. Uh, then it's, as the chart says, doing some line following. And this is the logic that will perform the line following. Uh, then we're going to be moving to another portion of dead reckoning. And then in the end, it's going to be performing some obstacle avoidance. Awesome. So if it looks a little bit complicated right now, don't worry. The video should be able to walk you through how to put all of this together. Yeah. So can we run the simulation to see what it looks like? Let me go ahead and run the simulation. I'm going to click inside the state flow chart while the simulation is running. This way you can see that we can immediately determine what the robot is doing inside the stateful chart. That's so cool. Yeah, you were talking about the like simulink for for kind of debugging things as they run. So this is, this is a really good example of that, and hopefully something that'll help you design some some pretty nice robotics algorithms. So yeah, you can see the blue highlighted states. Uh, right now we're in the line following portion, and then eventually it will reach an end condition there, and it will start going through the next segment, which is uh, another portion of that wreck. And then as we've been saying, you know, once uh, you get this all working, then you basically grab the same state flow chart, but now you put it uh, with the, the Lego blocks and it should hopefully do something similar, if not the same. Uh, and I think we have a clip for that, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, let's go through the uh, model that contains the Lego blocks real quick. Yeah. And then we'll jump over to the clip that has the robot performing the same time. Right. So, yeah, the same chart in there. And then you see all the, the blocks that say LEGO EV3 on the left and right side. Very cool. We'll now put the clip in of what it looks like when you upload it to the LEGO robot and you let it run in the, in the map that we built. Okay, Sebastian, I think that's it for our software demonstration. Um, let's go ahead and cut to our key takeaways today.
So we showed you how to program LEGO Hardware EV3 using Simulink. The support package is available. If you need more information on that, uh, check the description of the video. You can download it from there and start using it. We learned the basics about uh, mobile robotics. So if you go through the workshop, you're going to be learning dead reckoning, line following, obstacle avoidance, all of the things that you can use uh, to be implemented in your own competitions. And then if you are a teacher, you can reuse this workshop to teach using Lego. So feel free to download the content and reuse it for the classroom or for preparation for your students for the competitions. I think, um, Sebastian, do you have anything to add? Uh, the, the only thing I would add is, you know, once you've taken these materials and you've well, taken the middle bullet there, uh, learning the basics of mobile robotics, uh, you should keep in touch with us. So whether you have questions as you're trying to go through this content or you know, you, you've kind of gone through all of this and you're ready to do more advanced things, then either way, we'd, we'd love to uh, work with all of you. So Indeed, so that brings us back to our final slide, which is our contact information. Um, we are part of the Past Competitions Hub and these are the resources. So if you want to email us, our email is pastcompetitions at mathworks.com. We have a Facebook group. Feel free to ask questions in there as well. And we share a lot of uh, news in robotics and different tutorials that we have for MATLAB and Simulink in there. And if you have any other questions for us or you want to download a complimentary copy for your student team to use for your competition for MATLAB and Simulink, feel free to check out all the resources in the video description as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and please let us know if you have any questions. Bye-bye. Thank you.